Hey you guys, so today is going to be a voiceover and I got me one of my favorite synthetic wig companies which is Sensational What Lace Girl. So this is Daisha, glad to meet her. She is a synthetic 13 by 6 lace frontal HD girl and the texture is like a yakky. You know I'm ready for this because I love a wig where you ain't got to do too much. So the first things first, I'm going to make this lace look as presentable as possible. So I'm going to take some of my pressed powder girl and I'm gonna put it on the inside of the cap. Now this step is optional, but if you want it to look as natural as possible, you know you gotta work just a little bit of that magic in. Now, I'm gonna be wearing one of the wig grip bands. I've been wearing these for the last few videos. They're so much easier. I don't have to worry about any elastic band. Girl, you don't even have to glue it down or hairspray it down too much. You all know I'm all the way team sensational. Like I love sensational wigs. Like hands down, they are my top favorite. But you know where you can pick this wig up at. One of my favorite websites, which is Sam's Beauty, where you can get all the new, new, all the great sales, all the hair bundles, and so forth for a fraction of the price. So make sure you follow them on their social media, such as Facebook and Instagram, because they're always advertising, and you don't want to miss any sale that they have. So the first things first, make sure you have some tools like clips and get you a nice pair of scissors to cut the lace. It's very important to cut the lace unless you want everybody to know you got a wig on, girl. But with this lace, it's so, you know, Swiss, HD, undetectable, they might not know. So as you see, I had to lift up the lace a little bit just to see where to cut at. And plus your girl need her glasses on too. Do you guys see this lace already once I've cut it off? It just blends perfectly into the skin, okay? I am so like amazed at how far synthetic wigs have come over the years. Like when I first started out, they were not like this. They were definitely not like this. You know, we was really happy about some lace fronts. Girl, they have come a long, long way. Now, you know, one of my favorite things, one of my favorite pastime is to make sideburn hairs. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna make me some sideburns. And I'm also going to make just a couple of baby hairs or flyaways. Let's call them flyaways for this particular video, okay? Now the wig fits great. It has a snug fit. If you have like an above average head size, then I'm pretty sure this will work for you. Just make sure your hair is properly braided underneath and you can always wear a wig cap if you choose to. Now I'm just picking out parts where I want to put like little flyaways. I don't want it to be out throughout the whole entire wig but just in some sections, but I definitely have to have sideburns. Now I like a good wig where you don't really have to put sideburns, excuse me, not sideburns, cause I'm always need those. But I like a good wig where you don't need to put too many flyaways or baby hairs, you know? Now I'm just gonna cut just what I would want to be cut. <laughs> you know, you can have them as long as you want, but I don't want my sideburn hairs or my flyaways to be too long. Now, one of my favorite products you guys already know is Salon Selective Styling Mousse. And this is always available at the Dollar Tree. I like this mousse a lot because it doesn't interfere with any type of hairspray that you may have already applied onto the unit to adhere it, meaning it's not going to lift it up. I've noticed that with some of the got to be mousses that they actually do lift the wig up. So I just stick to something that's more affordable, which is a dollar and works really great. I like this mousse also because it doesn't get hard once you sculpt your sideburn hairs. So as you see, they might not be that great, my sideburn hairs, you know, they might be a little bit wonky all over the place, but excuse me, not the sideburn hairs, the baby hairs. My thing is this, I will lay them down, but once they're dry and in place, I will lift them back up with my brush. And I only do that because I really don't like them stuck to my face. But also, once I allow them to dry, it will give them some type of sculptage and curvature, so that way they'll just react or act the way I want them to. So I'm basically just brushing them in place. When it comes to your lace wigs, you wanna kind of brush the hair in the front in a kind of like curved position. Definitely don't wanna brush it straight blunt back because it looks so much more noticeable. So I like to kind of like brush it in a curved position, my hairline, so that way it looks less noticeable, undetectable, 
and you know a little bit more natural now just to adhere certain spots i will be using the bedhead hairspray that you do see me using here whatever you have on hand and you favor definitely use it girl but as you see right here this is what i'm talking about when i brush my hairline i like to kind of like brush the portions in a swoopage kind of like you know style and then what I'll do is I'll take this elastic band that I've sewn together and I'll place that onto the hairline and continue to style my hair and allow it to dry now with the blow dryer I'm just using it to kind of like flatten the edges down now because it has heat, this will definitely help. It does take heat, but I wouldn't advise you to use a hot comb on it unless you really want to kind of destroy the wig. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't, but it will take some of the texture away. So I just like to take the nozzle of my blow dryer and flatten that those edges out on my synthetic wigs. It actually does help. And if you spray a little bit of hairspray, excuse me, not hairspray, but water or some of that great Dollar Tree styling mousse on it and then blow dry it, girl, it'll come out even better. Do you guys see how smooth this hair is? It looks very natural it looks so realistic and the parting is amazing it's a 13 by 6 synthetic lace front hd girl okay where you getting that at now you know i really do like my parts on the side so that's the reason why i'm taking this blow dryer and i'm going to train the hair this will help the hair stay in one position and it'll also allow it just to train the hair versus using a hot comb because this is synthetic hair i really don't want to put too much heat to it Now time to reveal the hairline. The hairline looks so amazing on this unit. I was superly surprised. I'm just gonna touch it up just a tad bit because as you guys know, the lace does come in a universal color. So we have to make sure that it kind of like blends in. I really didn't need a lot. I had to use my magnifying mirror so that way I didn't go ham on it. But girls, this is a great affordable wig. You can definitely get away with this. You know, fake it till you make it, honey. Nobody has to know. Who's gonna know? Nobody has to know that it's synthetic. Just don't tell them and you'll be fine. Make sure you check out Sam's Beauty. I'll leave all of their information in the description box below for you guys. And you'll definitely wanna follow them on their social media. And also, girl, make sure you check out Sensational. They have so many amazing wigs. And I'm so happy to say that I love this one. So this one is Daisha. And as you see, I'm just going to end it with a little bit of hairspray on my brush. That way I don't drench the hair. That's really important. You don't want to drench the hair. So my advice to you guys would be to spray a little bit on your brush and you're good to go. What do you know? So you guys, of course, you're going to let me know what you think of this one. I like it. It's definitely affordable, budget friendly, and look at that hairline, hunty. Really, really nice, and the hair is super duper flowy. So on that note, I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up, share it, all that great stuff. And you already know it's time to go. So I will definitely see you guys in the next video. I love you all. Stay Diva and Divalicious. Bye.